Welcome to another episode of Nibble Time Snack Review. Today we're actually going to be covering uh, some Arizona tea products. Not the drinks themselves, but actually some of the other products that they make that I didn't even know they did, which is their fruit snacks. It's kind of an interesting thing. Um, one of the other products I found out they make that I had no idea, nachos. Who would have thought that a tea company would make nachos and fruit snacks? They do though. So let's talk a little bit about Arizona Tea Company. Uh, first, should be noted, um, their name, it's a lie. They were founded in New York. Why would you do this? Why would you call yourself Arizona Tea Company when you're based out of New York? I don't know why. But let's congratulate them on almost 30 years of business. Uh, the company was founded in 1992, so as of the filming of this, it is 29 and a half years old at this point to the month. Um, back in 1992, a can cost 99 cents. And guess what? Still costs 99 cents today. That's what they, they print it right on there. They have no inflation for them. Their can size has not reduced or gotten bigger. Same size on all of it. Uh, this company was founded by Don Vitigliano, Vitiglio, um, back in 1971. He had a lot of different drink beverages, uh, kind of hit his niche and his mark with the 1992 uh, irradiation of uh, Arizona Tea Company. Uh, like I said, it's not just water and teas that they make. They've got fruit snacks, nacho chips, a lot of different things. Uh, they do have a really awesome slogan, which is, have an iced day. So, uh, if you know me, you know I love puns. But let's get into reviewing some of their fruit snacks. So we have the Arnold Palmer Half and Half Fruit Snacks. Arnold Palmer, of course, legendary golfer and developer of the Half Lemonade Half Iced Tea. We have the traditional fruit snacks which is just gonna be your mixed fruit. So that's gonna be more like their, their normal, just um, fruit flavored teas. And then saw this at the store as well. Um, Crazy Candy Company makes this Cola Sour Belts. So it's a gummy candy, but it's also gonna be uh, cola flavored, we're hoping. So I'm gonna just toss that into the mix and see how it all goes. So let's get right into it. We're gonna grab a nice little assortment here. You can see they have little cans as well as the fruits. If I can get my hand out of the way. It's kind of a cute little can there in the fruits. Now, eating through this, I was really expecting to bite into it and kind of get like some of that flavor of the uh, half and half tea. They just taste like standard gummy bears. I'm not even getting like a tea flavor or the Arnold Palmer flavor. That's disappointing. At least they're gluten free and fat free. All right, let's see what we got in that on the, the mixed fruit. Try and take less this time. All right, so we got ourselves the Arizona can, the Arizona logo, and another can, but three different flavors. Let's see how this one does. The orange definitely is an orange flavor. It's kind of overpowering everything else. Tastes like a standard, just fruit snack. I mean, which is good because that's really what they're calling themselves, just a fruit snack. All right, so I got to clean the plate on that one. Get some of that orange out. All right. Mm -hmm. 
I could smell the cola. Oh. You know when, like, pop just sits out, like, in a glass overnight, and you just can kind of get that whiff of it, and it doesn't smell quite right? That's that's this. That's the smell we're getting. I'm, I'm tearing this in half. This might not make it. It looks super sugary. Look at all that big crystals on my fingers just from... Just from that, that's a lot. Wow. That is a very, very, like generic brand cola flavor. That's like just a little extra sugary. So, if you have diabetes, please don't get this uh, cola sour belts. It wasn't really that sour. It is very cola-y uh, and super sugary. So, definitely not recommended for anybody who's got, uh, you know, the, the old diabetes. So, let's get into the actual reviews. Um, Arnold Palmer didn't taste like much. Didn't have the... the the flavors I was looking for, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and give it a uh, 26. Uh, the Arizona fruit snacks, they're basic fruit snacks. It's literally, you could get basically any fruit snack and have the exact same flavor. So, 54. The Sour Belts, uh, it's right on for the Coca-Cola flavor. Now, well, not Coca-Cola, sorry, nope generic cola flavor um but it is super sugary i like sugary things uh but it is just a little over the top for me so um 31 so that uh there you have it uh, we learned a, a brief few things about arizona tea company um got to try some fruit snacks i appreciate you joining me today and you know like, subscribe, let me know what uh, you'd like to see in the future. Take care.